Hi, I'm Professor Michael Toll from the Mount St. Mary's Department of Political Science, and I'm here today to answer the question of whether we can replace the Electoral College with a popular vote. And the short answer is that we can, but it's a little more complicated than it seems. Right now, using the Electoral College system, third-party candidates and independent candidates are often discouraged from making a serious run for the presidency. The reason is most states use a winner-take-all system in the Electoral College. As a result, candidates often don't want to run because they'd have to win a state outright to get any electoral votes at all. If we went directly to a popular vote, one thing that might happen is that the loser in the primary for the Democratic or Republican nomination might decide to make an independent run for the presidency, or others might decide to make an independent run for the presidency. And while having more candidates might seem like a good idea, the one problem with this is we run the risk of having several popular candidates making a run for the office. If that happens, we run, there is a possibility that the winning candidate may have a very low margin of the vote, perhaps 28, 29, 30 percent. In order to prevent that, what we would have to do is to do what many other countries do, which is to have two rounds of voting. In the first round, if nobody hits a minimum threshold, perhaps 40 percent or 50 percent, we'd have a second election two weeks later between the top two candidates, and the winner of that election would win. While this system works just fine, keep in mind that in a country where we have low voter turnout, we'd have the problem of now having to get everyone to show up to vote twice.